Hey guys, this is Alex here. Um, just a quick follow up from our call. I wanted to show you um, a, a demo now, functioning demo of user attribute functions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually show you an action running this tutorial here, which you can run on your machine. You have all the, the, the assets you need. I'm just gonna walk you through to save you time and uh, explain uh, the, the kind of function you can leverage, okay? Um, right, so we, this, this basically means we're gonna be creating um, tokens for authentication and we're going to be passing the attributes in the token so um something like this right we're going to be passing the role regions in your case it's the asset or uh, the entity um, and the most important thing you need to remember is you have two functions basically you have user attribute and user attribute includes um and and they, they perform different roles different functions really um they behave in different ways and you can leverage for different purposes so for for instance this one um, whatever you put in the attribute will return the attribute itself, will return the value. So if you put role here, um, this would return, um, you can pass only one value, I think. So it will return this value. So for example, you could pass your parameter here, parameter one, parameter two, parameter three, right? You pass param one, param two, param three, and you pick it up like this. So uh, you, you literally have a calculated field pointing to this, right, with your parameter value. Okay, so then the second function is user attribute includes. This you pass um, an array instead of a single value, as you can see here. Um, and like, for example, regions is the attribute name, regions we pass. And if you hard code central, um, I mean, as long as you have central here, it's gonna, it's gonna compare. This is a comparison function, right? This is a Boolean, this, is, this returns a value. So, so you pass the attribute regions, which it happens to have in this case center and south. If you hard code center of here, you get true always, right? If you put west, you're gonna get false here. So you don't use this way, use it in this way, you use it like this. You put regions here, the attribute, and you've pointed to a column in your data because you wanna compare if something you pass from the portal in the token, an attribute, a user attribute matches with a data point from the database. All right, so that's how you use here. Uh, so it's uh, where region is in either right it's an or it's either central or south in this case central or south all right so let's see it in action how, how do you run this tutorial um first thing you need to do you need to go to your public cloud and create a connected app for your backend that will be generating tokens um so i'm gonna, gonna show you how I, i've done that i have my site you go to settings then you go to connected apps my app uh, is the name of the app i created then I generated the secret. So I have now three things I need to generate tokens, the client ID, the secret ID, and the password, which you can copy from here, copy, copy, uh, and make sure you enable it. Um, by default, it comes disabled and people waste so much time because it's very easy to miss. And once you've got this, then now you can download the sample app. Um, here we have, uh, let's see, da -da. where's the GitHub page? Sure, you get the GitHub. Uh, yeah, clone the repo here. This is instructions how you install configure. So what I've done, I went to this uh, GitHub because it has a like a mini demo app with the front end and the back end, uh, just doing something really silly, just generating a token and presenting an embedded viz. But it also helps you pass test attributes. So yeah, just just go ahead and, and clone this one locally. Download this this thing locally, and um, and then I've done this with GitHub desktop. So I have it here running on my machine. Uh, it has a few folders inside. Um, this folder here has a few workbooks that you will use to test those functions. They already have the functions um, created. So what you're gonna do then is, I'm gonna make this smaller now so you can see. Back to your site, um, you go here to explore and you can cre create a project if you wanna test inside a project or, or just dump in the default project. I created a separate project. project and then you can upload here, upload workbook and drag and drop. So, or, or pick from here. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna be showing you this one first in action. Let's see how it looks like. First, you check how it's been configured. It's super dumb, it's super simple. Like I said, it's not step by step. It just presents the function here, which will print the attribute value here. Um, because I'm signed in directly to Tableau, I'm not passing any value, this is null at the moment. Uh, but whatever you pass, if you do it via the, the, the embedded route, the value you pass in the token will be brought and be, be available for anything you want to do here. So again, this could be parameter one. Um, 
Right. So let's see. Uh, so what I, what I need to do is I need to take this link because I'm going to be embedding this viz. Uh, you get from the share link. That's how you do it. Copy. Um, and then in the app, you don't need to worry because the embed code has been set up here for you. Uh, you just really need to, uh, well, uh, npm. And you have to have node installed. Then you, you install all the packages you need um, from this app. It just does everything for you. And then you, you run node and main.js is where the backend and frontend code is here, which again, you don't have to worry, forget about what's on the left side. But once that's done, I suggest you go to a different browser. Uh, don't use incognito because you're gonna end up without the cookie support by default. So you're not gonna be able to embed Tableau. Uh, just go to Firefox or Safari, whatever. Um, and that's, that's the frontend. It's a really interesting, simple application that you pass the link. So you copy this link here. Normally you have this on your backend, but now it's nice, you, you can test multiple links. So this is gonna be passed to the embed code. Um, and also it's gonna generate a token with this attribute. So it's gonna build the JWT token with this, with, in addition to these values. Um, and you can add more, right? So if I load the Vs now, you know, it has nothing, it just has ATTR, right? If you remember from the calculation, let's keep it open here. Um, yeah. So. It's expecting an attribute called ATTR, which we don't have, so we got null here. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, this has this little feature here that you can add uh, tests. So hello. And hit enter, run it again. Sure enough, it should, it should print hello. Yeah, hello. So you see, now, now you immediately know how you pass your parameters. Um, and, and that, to my knowledge, it's a, one, a single value only, user attribute function not user attribute includes. Great, um, so let's go to second case, uh, which is handling multiple values. So we're gonna be seeing how to use this user attribute includes. Uh, and then of course you can follow along. They have another Vs that you're gonna be coloring the region. You're gonna be passing the region, central, south. Region is a field in this data source. So it's printing all the uh, uh, locations where we had some, some activities, some sales, and we, we're gonna use user attribute functions to match what we pass in the token with what's in the database. Um, and remember, yeah, this function will return um, true for every row that, so each row has a region, right? And if one of those rows matches what you pass here, uh, one or many values, it's gonna return true, the other will return false. Um, so yeah, let's see how it looks like. I'm gonna go back to my site and Back to, I, I've already uploaded the map region by color, which again, you find here in the assets folder. Um, the link I will get immediately here and paste here, control V. And I'm gonna edit the calculation so you see what this is doing. So it's not using as a filter, but it's using as a color, right? Is in region is the name of the calculated field. Um, see? region equals region. So small caps region, that's of course the attribute name needs to be case sensitive. And region in, in orange is a field here um, in the data source. If I type here region and zoom in for you. Yeah, region and you can click describe and you're gonna see these are the values in the database right now. So I can pass any attribute here, we'll get true. Um, great, so let's run this now. I've already pointed to this new viz, load. Uh, yeah. There we go. So it's passing south. And yeah, sure enough, you see this is used in the color field uh, where we have false in blue um, and they change the color when it's true to orange. Um, so you, you kind of like need to set up, you need to put a condition here or username, uh, something that allows you to see all the values. Name equals uh, like this, my user. So we are kind of bypassing. That's my username in this in instance, uh, like this. So if I would do that, uh, yeah, you see now everything becomes true because yeah, I, I screwed the demo, but then you change the color you want. Maybe you want this some, something else. Um, all right, so what the, the only change I suggest you do in the code is um, for the bugging, of course, uh, you can go to this place where this little JS uh, JavaScript is being uh, created to, to, to pick up the things from the user interface and pass to um, a little little array uh, so that you can test. 
So they, they simplify, like you can type multiple values like south, uh, I don't know, east and west. Uh, I hit enter, run it again, and let's see what we get. Yeah, see, east and west. Um, so so this is the thing I was struggling in the demo, the how, what's the syntax to pass to, uh, to when you create a JWT. So, so I suggest you put a little, um, well, check the code. Um, they are, they are, they're basically creating uh, some sort of data structure there, which uh, effectively creates an array here um, with the values inside the array like this. Um, so yeah, uh, you see the first value is a single value, uh, the attribute, but the region is, uh, they're both arrays, but this is passing single value, this is passing multiple values. Yeah, and that's about it. So yeah, so I didn't say the change I did was to print, um, just to print that thing to the console, but feel free to change whatever you want. Uh, where, where is it? So an attributes JS, I'll put a console. Yeah, here we go. Line 36, I've added a console log, uh, this attributes array, which is again, coming from here. Uh, and as you can see, they are just putting the values inside the, the array, uh, taking from the table, removing the columns and, and pushing it to the array, uh, removing spaces in between. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Um, the one thing I just realized now, this is strange because this is this should be case sensitive. Um, and west, let's see if it still works. West only capital. I don't know if they are changing the case in the code. Yeah, they're probably changing the case, but it has to match a value in the database, and the database has values in in um, like yeah. Uh, proper case, so so yeah, be, be careful with that as well. Try to make it match. I'm, I think it's probably somewhere in the code if they're kind of um, fixing this back. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's it. I hope this helps. I'm gonna, we're gonna be sending you this link to the tutorial and um, a little bit of, of yeah, blog post, a little bit of reading for you. And yeah, let us know if you need any help. Cheers, Alex.